Welcome back. We're going to try to play third fall rook. Hopefully this time the app works. Don't need a big introduction this time because the app's probably just going to hang again. But you know, if it successfully downloads, we'll be on our way. Um, we'll see. There was an announcement on the announcements page. I didn't take the time to read it because I was hoping to get some games played um before dinner so looks like we'll get a game played okay very good here we go good luck that's a beautiful avatar all right so one thing we learned from the last turning to master game is to keep this diagonal open or we're gonna play uh, opposing rook so let's play opposing rook there it is all right. Uh, I don't remember, like, if I'm supposed to do this this way. It's too much to remember. Um, why am I building this Mino half Mino? Like, I could have tried for Anaguma if I wanted to. Oh wait, no, last time. After the game, I think it was Transport, who told me that building the full, uh, what's it called, um, the full Mino castle here is not best. I want to build a high Mino as quickly as possible. Um, probably should have remembered that before getting this far into it. Uh, so let's try to close things up a bit. Maybe we'll play this some, oh my god. Uh, okay. Free pawn? Not really. I see where this is going. This is awfully sharp. Okay. Um, mm, I'm not sure how crazy to get here. No, nah, I'm feeling it. Let's do this. The more violent this opening is, um, the sooner we get to move on to the next thing. Yeah, sorry. Oh my goodness. Wait. Wait a minute. What the hell? Why didn't they drop a pawn in my face? I don't get it. Um... All right, the knight's head was a little bit vulnerable, sure. Um, yeah, so we're going to misquote transport here. <laughs> um, not intentionally, but let's get my king out of here. And then we'll learn what it is that I should have learned last time. Um... Oh, that's clever. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, I had a plan. It wasn't a good plan, but it was a plan. Um. Yeah, I got the things you told me mixed up. I'm sorry. Well, this ain't going to end well. This is not going to end well. How the hell do I get out of this? Nanafun. Oh, I have an idea. This is maybe a terrible idea. 
Okay, yeah, your high Mino suggestion was related to when we play double, double ranging, double swinging rook. Then the gold general can defend. Uh, okay, well, we got an interesting situation here. Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand. Right? All right, well, I... I'm just... I don't even know. I'm emotionally spent at this point. So we're just going to play what comes to mind. Yeah, at this point I'm losing a bishop because I'm too proud to retreat. But also, like, every retreat I can think of seems to lose material anyway. So we're going to do this. We have two pawns and a knight in hand. Um, so the rook is defending this token. I can attack that rook. This way I lose only a silver. As if that's some kind of an achievement. I guess they could take my bishop and then take my rook and then take my silver. See, so I could still lose a lot here. While also trapping my rook, which might not even be worth taking at this point. But it's a rook, so it's probably still worth taking. Um, okay, I don't know. Something is afflicting my opponent. I don't know what, but we have some interesting moves today. This whole time I've been trying to avoid putting a pawn behind my silver because then they put a pawn in front of it and then I lose material. Um. Hmm, what to do? don't know. We've got to exchange bishops, otherwise they have a silver drop and they like win a lot of pieces. Um, but I'm not any better off here. I'm still trying to exchange my rook. Um... Go for me. All right, let's attack this rook and threaten to promote my bishop. All right, have a good one. Yeah, I thought there might be some issues with the bitrate that might make this tremendously difficult to watch. Sorry about that. Yeah, with the animating flowers in the background and most of the frames being dropped, I'll have to review this before I upload it. Or maybe I just upload it anyway and then review it. Um, so again, I keep trying to activate my rook or exchange rooks or something here.
On the plus side, at least my game seems to be decent. Like, for me, playing against a Tudon, I'm remarkably not dead yet. Yeah. Ah, uh, this is good that at least I'm mobile. It looks okay. Yeah, I would... Um... Okay, would we care to exchange pieces this way? If I could just exchange my rook, I could drop it on your side of the board. Like, threaten the lance, threaten the gold. Maybe somehow pull some attack out of here. Um... Alright. Are you gonna take this? Okay. Now the question is, do I move the rook one square or two? Um, I think we move this one square. And we already know that like he's not going to let me promote this. But if I'd moved it over two, he just drops another piece in the rook's face. So that's not going to work. So we have to do it this way instead. Um... Then maybe afterward we shift this token over, and then, well, the minute we do that, they drop something on my rook's head again. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right, screw it. Let's try this. So if gold takes, I promote the rook and fork the king and the gold. They drop another piece or a pawn, and we find some way to continue. If they want to my win my rook this badly, they can have my rook. Well, I say that. It's not true. I say that, but actually, what I mean is they want to try to win my rook, we can exchange rooks or come up with some other kind of an arrangement here. Um, because <laughs> I'm not too wild on them taking all of my pieces on my back row. So we'll fight. Yeah, I'm kind of amazed where this is going. Um, that's an interesting move. That is a very curious move. Um, I think I should take it. Yeah. The reasoning is complicated, but, um, so the reasoning I have is that if they drop the rook there, then they cannot drop the rook here. So their rook is already dropped. So they need to drop something else to try to hold this castle together. And whatever that other piece is, is not going to be as effective as a gold or a rook would be. Oh, I thought I had a silver Sorry. in hand. I don't have a silver in hand. That maybe changes things. Um, they still don't have a gold in hand, though, so maybe it doesn't change things. I don't know. Shogi's hard. This is such a caveman attack. It's kind of a wonder that it does anything. Okay. Um. Interesting.
Mm. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused. Screw it. Let's find out where we end up. Uh, I forgot, I just pinned this to my dragon. I am not playing well. Yeah, gold takes gold, and now I'm sacrificing my rook again. How many times am I going to sacrifice this rook? I don't know. This is such a weird game. This is such a bizarre game. So they can defend this bishop, and then I can promote my bishop here. Yeah, this is extremely two-sided for... Like, it shouldn't be anywhere near this close. That's risky. That's definitely a risky move. So the idea is night drop next. So if they take this gold, that's far too greedy. I have another idea. Lance drop. I like night drop though. Hmm. Now the lance drop is useful. Okay, what? I was certain that this capture was far too greedy. Um, I'm actually curious at this point if they can prove otherwise. Thanks for the game. Boom. Uh, Kingdom of the Blind. There is a proverb of the blind leading the blind, or something like that. I forget what the proverb is. But, yeah, I guess the closest thing we probably have is just the maxim of, like, blind faith. Oh, thank you for the game. I, I said that, but I I do mean it. Good luck. I always have to double check whether this is the right position. So... I can never remember either, like, what the key is here. But, like, in some cases, this wrong diagonal bishop can be countered. Um, so... Um...
Yeah, I, I am drawing a blank. This is terrible. <laughs> oh, in the Kingdom of the Blind, the one-eyed is king. That's clever. Um... This feels a bit vulnerable. <laughs> yeah, this move order, yeah. This, at least in theory, does not work. Um, perhaps they're being polite or something. I don't know. Um, Okay, let's put some pressure on this edge, and I don't know what to do. Um, hopefully I'm not walking square into something, but I could be. All right, uh, my golds protect each other. Oh, wow, we got... That was cool. Probably signals my demise somehow, but, you know, it looked cool, so... Got to enjoy that. Um... What to do... Feels like I've missed the boat. Oh uh, yeah, I feel I did form twin gold here, but I guess the silver might be part of it too. If so, that's oh. Whoops. Well, this got this got dicey. All of a sudden, um, maybe, maybe not. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right. I'm playing this incorrectly, but we'll do the best we can. Um, sure, let's bring the knight out, just to really confuse me. Um, Confusing as always. Yeah, just try to outrun the guy next to you instead of trying to outrun the bear. Um...
this is so unwise, but like, what am I, oh, what else am I going to do? So, we do this, and somehow it's okay. Yeah, this position's just held together by a thread. And not a good thread either. Um, Alright, this is confusing. So, I don't really understand any of this. Uh, my knight's head is Go vulnerable. I get that now. Okay, well, I just made this more difficult for myself. Um, wait a second. I'm not the only one with a king and a knight on this side of the board. Alright, what's your play? <laughs> oh, copycat, eh? Alright, but copy that. Yeah, um, this is still not great. I mean, it feels fine, but, like, I'm playing with fire. Um, so now I've got another knight I could drop to try to defend against whatever madness happens next. But this gold is in a fun spot, too. Um. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a little bit of excitement. Not too much. Oh, okay. We're going to have a lot of excitement. Because that looks like a mouse slip. Um, they have a bishop they can drop. Um, not sure what a bishop does against that. I guess now we know. Subway Rook Edge Attack. Yeah. Well, we get our Rook there one way or another. If the subway's closed, I don't know, take the train or something. Um. Alright, check. Check. Yeah, without this check, the other check didn't make any sense. Thanks for the game. Let's play one more. Yeah, hopefully this is still watchable. If not, I'll have to like re-upload it to YouTube or something. <laughs> Reconnecting. 
Wow, that great, huh? I apologize to my opponents if I disconnect during a game. Good luck. All right, so what we heard last time that we did this is that this is still playable, but it means that this point is weak, and I would um, have to play with care. <laughs> now I've defended my center. Yeah, I know I haven't yet studied this particular line. I need to study it, so I'm taking an enormous risk playing this way. Um, uh, and yeah, I apologize for the video latency. There's a tremendous lag between chat and where we're currently at. Uh, sorry about that. All right, they closed this diagonal, so let's activate our rook right away. Um, So now they blocked access of their rook to this square. Yeah, sorry. There is a ton of delay. Hopefully most of the packets do eventually make it through. Um, but you're right, there's definitely a delay going on here. Okay, that's not exactly a vanguard pawn. I'm not sure what to think about this, like, striking pawn strategy in an opening. Because I block my rook, but on the other hand, I make it possible for my rook to promote later. Um, I think the real way to judge this is that I have, a, I have stronger options available when I'm missing them. Um... For example, it's challenging for them to defend this point because they can't put a general uh, to defend this right. I mean, they could put the silver up to defend that. It's possible. But by placing this pawn, I've created a liability. On the other hand, yeah, I'm going to be able to get them to play opposing rook here, so I guess that's fine. Um... I'm not sure where my other pieces belong here. So, still afraid of a bishop exchange. I'm somewhat afraid of this bishop coming out and hitting my rook. Oh, this, yeah, double swinging rook is where you recommended a rapid high mino. All right, so I brought my rook in the way of high mino. They've played opposing rook. Um, So, yeah, let's see what I can manage. Um, oh, well, okay, I can't transpose anymore. It's close to being transposable, but, like, I'm finding tactical shots preventing my rook from easily going to other places. Um, mm. well, no, no, this is fine. This is okay. They bring the rook to defend, or I'm sorry, they defend with the silver. Plus my idea of bringing the rook here and then rook over is flawed. So, yeah, both of my ideas are broken here. Um, Nana hmm. If I only had a brain. Um, right, fine. 
so yeah, my bishop gets kicked. I'm not so concerned about that. Perhaps I should be, but I'm not. Oh, they're not grabbing the material immediately. Um, curious. All right, we're going to activate my pieces the hard way. Yeah, castling's not yet required here. Yeah, castling's probably not going to happen this game. Oh, okay, he just, here he switched to opposing rook, right. Oh, that's an interesting observation that, yeah, I murdered my knight here. I, this whole time I was imagining it was still alive, um, it's not. Yeah, pawn will drop on its head. The knight will disappear soon. Um, but I'm so caught up in all this other stuff that's going on. That's perhaps unwise. I don't know. That's the move I was trying to encourage or elicit or whatever here. Um, because I can hit this rook with tempo. Um, I'm not really... Oh! Okay, they're playing straight into the line that I saw. As opposed to like the obvious, just move the rook away. Um, Go for okay. It. Well, here we are. Don't know why, but this is where we ended up. Mm -hmm. I guess we'll take here and promote this. Yeah, I guess they've collected a lot of material this way. Alright, so now they can no longer drop um, a rook in defense. So we'll attack like this. Okay, they use a bishop to defend. Sure, why not? Let's try this. I get the scent. Oh! I forget how these pieces move. I thought my rook was promoted. <laughs> okay, well, well, well. Um, now I know how the pieces move. 
Let's see if I can survive this game. Um, yeah, fine, we'll exchange here, that's okay. All right, we got a knight. We're gonna win. We and our lone knight will somehow save the day. I maybe should consider building a castle before the game ends. Maybe. Um. Okay. There's a defensive pawn. Protects against all dragons. Um. Yeah, we are dead. We are dead. <laughs> Unless they move this rook or dragon somewhere where I can get a bishop fork. And then maybe we're alive again. But, um, it's not looking super promising. I kind of wanted to move this anyway. Um... Okay, my generals do defend each other at this point. Um, yeah, that's spooky. Alright, let's chase this old general, I guess. There we go. Got a gold. Um, Something. I mean, what else do we need? A plan would help. Um, <laughs> a subtle threat. I mean, what else am I supposed to do with the bishop, right? I don't get it. I could have put a gold somewhere around here, but then they just, like, place a silver. And my gold has to run away, because the gold's better defending than attacking. Um... Okay, this is worth something in defense. Three generals, allegedly. We'll see if it can be worth anything close to that. Um. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really don't know about this. We're going to build a castle in the center of the board. And this gold will support the castle. Yeah, if we were on 81 Dojo, we could pray to the Nifu gods. I wonder if they'd still hear us if we prayed over here. But yeah, they have two pawns, a lance, two knights. They have, like, everything. And we do not. Um... We're going to take the lance, because, like, what else do we do here? I guess next up we consider taking this pawn. Um, yeah, I just am not... I'm blind to whatever it is they're threatening. We'll see it when it hits us in the face, but I don't see it yet. Uh... Okay, I'm an idiot. I am an idiot. I missed mate in three. Do we think I'm... I don't know if I have a... I'll ever get a second chance on that one. Um, Yeah, rook takes... I'm sorry, that's not a rook. That's a bishop. That's why I can't do mate there. Alright. Um, That would have been nice, though. Oh, that's checkmate. Thank you. Thanks for the game. Yeah. All right. Well, good news is now we know how the pieces move.
That always helps. Um, yeah, I had some very good games today and some or very exciting games today. Shogi uh, Wars always gives you exciting games. The quality of the gameplay depends on how you and your opponent play, but the games, it feels like it's always in an end game. I don't know how, but anyway, yeah, I move quickly because I'm in time pressure because there's no Bioyomi, and so because I move quickly, that gives me an excuse when I play interesting moves. But we had some fun games here anyway, so I hope we all enjoyed this.